Guys, the last time I had the V1 bomber out, it didn't go so well. Busted some axle gears or basically just stripped them out. The Intergy internals, uh, not so good. However, as you can see me flapping my arms around, I've got some incision. These are the 4313s, so these are a 3.3 to 1 gear ratio, a little bit lower than the 3.0 that came with it. I've got steering links right here to get rid of some of that, get rid of some of this junk right here. That just kind of needs to go away. And I've got axial universals. I prefer the universals over the CVDs just because, in my experience, they turn sharper and they tend to hold up a little bit better. But that's just my experience. Anyway, I'm going to get these put into the front axle and I'm going to put the gears into the back axle and we're going to take it for a drive. Take a look. This is what I've got right here. So, axles, ring and pinions, one in front, one in back, and here's the steering. I have had clearance issues with steering like this before. We're going to give it a try, see how it works out. Now, I'm just simply going to put the new ring gear on, take the four bolts and the bearing loose, bolt the new rear bolt the new ring gear onto that. Simple and easy. Obviously, change out the pinion. If there are any bearings anywhere that need to be changed out, hopefully I have them in stock so I can replace those as well. With the integer ring gear off right there, you, you can see it actually has the old iron cross spool or locker that's in there. Now, I have had these break the tabs and they'll spin inside the case. However, this is an aluminum case. So hopefully, if it does happen to shear the tabs, it'll still be okay. If it does happen to break and, you know, tear stuff up, then obviously, it's time to upgrade again. Oh, by the way, there's the new incision ring gear. Very nice. The new gear went right on, and I did use a medium thread lock just to keep those in place. You can see a little bit of it right there. Now I'm just simply going to put the bearings back on and put it into the housing. There's a new pinion gear already installed. Now this particular houses, housing uses two 5 by 11 by 4 pinion bearings. You know, um, those are decent bearings, but not really what I was hoping to see. Some of the uh, newer axles or different brand axles actually have a larger bearing right there at the pinion. I have had these bearings just physically break before, and when they break, they can take out a lot of stuff. However, it's what they are. It's what we're going to use. Bolt it in, and I don't have any grease or anything in it, but mesh kind of feels okay. Could be a little bit better, but I think it's going to be just fine. I think everything is going to hold in place well, and as long as those bearings don't bust out, I think this is going to be awesome. Gears are greased and it's ready for the axle shafts and the outers, the knuckles and all that stuff. Take this apart, install the C-hubs, and then I can put them on the axle and then slide the new U-joints right into them. As I'm putting this together, I'm using a little bit of that light blue thread lock. Keep in mind the tubes come out of the sensor on this. So you want to make sure that that is also thread locked in. If not, you'll just waller the threads out and then you're going to have problems. Then you'll be needing new axle housings or you're going to do a lot of super gluing. When you reassemble, make sure your C-hubs look like this. You don't want them flipped around backwards. That is the proper angle. And I also turn them all the way back just to get a little more caster. So here's the left side assembly. And all I got to do is the same thing to the right. You can see how it's put together. Bolts are in place. Everything moves freely. So not bad at all. Now I've also got to put this on top and that's, that's just some bolts and all that. So I'll go ahead and get that done. The front axle is together and it looks nice and beefy. I'm going to have to add some three millimeter set screws into those open holes. If not, um, well, perfect for sand intrusion. I might just use some glue. So that um, amazing goop or something, just kind of put it in there, just seal them up that way. But anyway, here's the steering put together. 
Uh, it's just Revo ends on the uh, steering bars. Nice, simple, easy. Now it's time to get that on the axle. The steering is on, and I did have to adjust these out quite a bit. I'm assuming it has something to do with the knuckles from the Entergy axle, um, the Entergy housing, because I had quite a bit of toe in, and you know, you really don't want that. The front is done and ready to go back in. Feels nice, feels solid. If I find anything noteworthy on the rear axle, you'll see it. If not, I'm just simply going to get the job done. Obviously, the biggest difference here is, you know, the color scheme. So I am going to just go ahead and paint this axle black when I get all the gears and stuff in it. But everything should go in just like you saw on the front. If you're concerned about your gears, if you have that little E-clip at the pinion gear, that should tell you you have... Um, well, I don't want to say cheap, but you may have low quality gears in your axle. There is a little bit of something different here. If you're going to remove your axles, since there's no, uh, you know, bolt on pieces like on a normal axle, you actually have to remove the tube from the center piece. Not a big deal, really. Just a little bit different than what I've messed with so far. I also see these little retainer clips at the end. I guess you could actually pop those loose and get the axle in and out as well. The rear has a different style spool in it. Look at that. Huh. Not bad. Whether this came in the Entergy axle or not, I honestly don't know. If you guys have an answer to this, comment in the comment section below. So the back axle went together. I painted it or tried to, to try to make it at least somewhat match the front and that material is hard to paint. Wow, it just tries to bubble up, but at least it somewhat closely matches. You know, it's not just nice and shiny back there. So I'm uh, gonna go ahead and power this thing up. Radio is on. Let's see what we've got here. Looks good. Now, I have a sway bar kit for this, but I can't put it on because it goes into here and it's gonna come way back to here. And this does not have the piece like the other bombers. So these axles were actually for a wraith. They don't have the uh, bomber, you know, link tab that comes up. So unfortunately, this thing is gonna to torque twist like crazy again. I've got a bit of an issue here. Stock tires have way too much offset to bring them in. Not even close. So those are out. The V2s have a little bit more of an offset. And close, but still up in there. And now I have these wheels. I believe these are by Entergy. So, and these, believe it or not, they clear. So what I'm going to do, since I really don't care for these tires at all, I do like these tires right here. So I'm going to take these tires off of the V2, put them on these wheels, so I have this thing ready to go. So, got some work to do. They actually went on pretty well. Now these are a sealed wheel. There's no vent hole in there. So, and that may be perfectly fine for this style of vehicle. Get this thing outside in the hot summer. Gonna puff up a little bit, get a little stiffer. Maybe perfectly fine. Let's see here. Close. But I think it's gonna be just fine. Now I've got three more to do. I think it looks pretty darn awesome. It's going to torque twist though. I like it. It's a lot of caster, so they definitely lean quite a bit. It should be good for speed though. If it can keep all four tires on the ground. Let's get it outside and find out. 
Okay, gonna be a little windy up here. I'm at Jack's Extreme RC Club Park. Now this ESC doesn't like to climb or crawl very much at all. <laughs> Just I made it across that. Now let's uh, do what I want to do with this thing. A little bit kill bashing. <laughs> nice. Oh, off the back. I have no idea where it went. We are about to find out. I'm on the wheels. Oh, this thing is great on the hill. Unless you fall off the backside. <laughs> well, let's see. Am I back on my wheels again? Why, uh, yes. Handle good. Just need some sleigh bars. Time to try something stupid. <laughs> there we go. Time to try something else stupid. <laughs> Still on the tires. Hung up in the vines pretty bad. Yep, got to get it. Something really stupid. Ah! Beautiful. One more stupid jump. <laughs> Boom. Nice. So what do you guys think? Much needed parts and pieces for this thing. I almost thought I heard something skip in there just a little bit, but I'm not totally sure if that was maybe what I just did or maybe something in the transmission because that doesn't really sound very happy either. Now this may be the last time you see it like this because I have a Capra cage and I've seen where guys have taken the entire um, bomber driveline and put it into that cage and it looks pretty darn awesome in my opinion. Kind of like a bouncer per se. So. That may be very well what I do with the driveline out of this, that Hobbywing ESC. This is the last time you'll see it run in any type of a crawler. Um, it's just not happy where it's at. So getting a Castle Mamba X in that for sure. So anyways, check that description for affiliate links. eBay, Amazon, Amain. If you have something in your carts, come back to any video. Click on one of those links, go and check out. It's as simple as that. And uh, it gives a little bit of a commission and every little bit helps, especially keeping me up to date in the whole RC world. Helps out a lot. So anyway, check that description. And guys, thank you all for watching.
If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.